I'm Chad Smith, drummer of Red Hot Chili Peppers, and today we're going over Sierra Online's Top 50 Adventure Games. Pow! That's a joke. I'm not Chad Smith. I'm Joshua Cleveland with Weird Gaming Adventure. You know how many times I've heard that in the comments section? Hey Joshua, you look like Chad Smith. I figured I'd have a little fun with it. Sierra! So, PC Gamer came out with Sierra's top 50 ever adventure games. And what we're going to do is we're going to break down their list, tell them what they did wrong, and what we know that they did right. Uh, thanks for doing the work for us, PC Gamer. A number 50, Leisure Suit Larry 7. Leisure Suit Larry 7 is widely considered to be one of the greatest adventure games of all time. Top 50 at least in most people's opinion. How they can slot Leisure Suit Larry number 7 at number 50 in Sierra's top 50 adventure games is criminal. Criminal. It's criminal. Number 43, Quest for Glory 2, Trial by Fire. The author's reasoning for having it at number 43 was, and I quote, The simple act of getting around Shapier was death by a thousand cuts. Um, have you played Sierra games? It's one rough puzzle. You're going to demonize an entire game because of one rough puzzle? I gotta say, maybe Sierra games aren't right for you. Number 41, Gabriel Knight 3, Blood of the Sacred, Blood of the Dam. Criminal. Again, criminal. This is a crime wave, people. Yes, I know that the camera angle was clunky, but this is one of the greatest adventure games of all time. The story is one of the top five adventure stories of all time. I actually have a little bit of a problem when he actually, the only good thing that he said about the game is, and I quote, Tim Curry is back as the voice actor of Gabriel. I'd counter and say that that's a negative. You all know my theory and my opinion of Tim Curry and his rendition of Gabriel Knight's Narlin's Draw. Number 40, King's Quest II, Romancing the Stones. This is the 2002 AGD interactive remake. I'm proud of you. I'm glad that the author decided to add this in to the list because this is a, a hidden gem. And while it wasn't necessarily made by Sierra, it is a Sierra remake. Good on you, PC Gamer author. Uh, number 39, Leisure Suit Larry, Land of Lounge Lizards. I'm coming to the conclusion that the author doesn't like Larry's sexual undertones or overtones. Uh, number 34, King's Quest 1, AGD remake, the fan-made game. I personally think that number two is better than number one, but again, that's like an opinion, man. Number 28, Lighthouse, a dark being. Better than its inspiration, Mist. Something tells me that if Sierra had made Mist, Mist would be way higher on the list. But I've definitely got Lighthouse in my top 20, but we're splitting hairs here. Not a terrible ranking. Number 22, Space Quest 3. This is a quote directly from the author. The third Space Quest game is an improvement on the first two. Interesting. Number 20 and number 19 are Space Quest 1, the Syrian Encounter from 86 and 87, and also the Syrian Encounter Space Quest 1 uh, from 1990, the VGA remake. Um, pretty sure I just read that number 3 was better than number 1 or number 2, but lo and behold, 2 and 3 spaces higher on the list is Space Quest 1. Number 17, Space Quest 2. Again, thought they said that number three was better. Number eight, Torrens Passage. Underrated game, I like this ranking. Number seven, King's Quest Seven: The Princeless Bride. His quote is, and I quote, perhaps the most controversial King's Quest game. He's right. It's a controversial game. You either love it 
or you hate it. And if there's a game that you either love or hate, it doesn't belong so high on a list, especially when you put Leisure Suit Larry 7 at number 50 on said list. Number five through one is Lorbo and the Dagger of Amon Ra, Conquest of the Longbow, The Legend of Robin Hood, King's Quest VI, Air Today, Gone Tomorrow, Space Quest IV, Roger Wilco and the Time Rippers, and number one, Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. Love this top five list. Okay, so the author didn't play all 90 or so adventure games from Sierra. That's impossible. He put himself out there, he put his list out there, and I appreciate the stands. While my opinions may be different based on his, he put himself out there. And no two lists will be alike, especially when there is a top 50 list. So I'm going to actually throw my hat in the ring and give my top list and give everybody else an opportunity to call my list criminal. Number 20, Conquest of Camelot. Number 19, Laura Bow 1. Number 18, Lighthouse. Number 17, Petey Farkas. Number 16, King's Quest 2. Number 15, Quest for Glory, 1. Number 14, Gabriel Knight 3, Blood of the Sacred, Blood of the Damned. Number 13, Leisure Suit Larry, 1. Number 12, Torrens Passage. Number 11, Conquest of Longbow. Number 10, Quest for Glory 3. Number 9, Space Quest 3. Number 8, Gabriel Knight 2, The Beast Within. Number 7, Laura Bow 2, Dagger of Amon Ra. Number 6, Quest for Glory 2, Trial by Fire. Number 5, Leisure Suit Larry 7, Love for Sale. Number 4, Quest for Glory 4, Shadows of Darkness. Number 3, Space Quest 4. Number 2, King's Quest 6, Air Today, Gone Tomorrow. And the number 1 is... Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. So there you have it. That's my top 20 list. I am not putting anything in my list that I personally did not play. So there's lots of games out there like Phantasmagoria, so on, so forth. So if you don't like the list, call me criminal for not playing the game. If I played it, I'd probably like it. Speaking of liking it, if you like this video, like it. If you like the content, uh, consider subscribing for more adventure game content. I'd like to say thank you to PC Gamer for putting out such a difficult column, a difficult top 50 list. I personally wouldn't want to do all that work because you're going to offend some people. So I'm Joshua with Weird Gaming Adventure. We appreciate you coming and appreciate you going. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.